Okay, guys, what's up? This is Mark from the Ashini, and I apologize. I've been meaning to do this video for a long time. So I'm doing this video on building a killer sellers list and managing a sellers list through the tags that we have, right? So I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I apologize for those who are waiting, and I'm doing one on the variations after. And uh, yeah, so check this out. So let me first build a quick seller list for you guys. Should I? Uh, yeah. Let's not. Because <laughs> that's going to waste a, lot, a, a little bit of time, and I don't really want to waste any time. So this is the raw sellers list, right? Let's say you've built a sellers list. If you want to know how to find sellers, that's different. But let's say you built a sellers list, right? These are all your sellers. I don't know how many sellers are here. Quincy, do you have, let me see if there's an account. Ah, that's one thing I need to tell Quincy to put, the number of sellers that are on there. I'm surprised that that's not there. So Quincy, if you're watching this, Get a total seller. Anyway, so what I usually do, I have all my sellers, right? Now you want to classify your sellers. You want to organize them so you know what the deal is. Um, a couple ideas of how, like, categories or tags you want to organize them in, and I'm just giving you some ideas, and then I'll show you how. It's like you want to tag sellers or mainly sell Walmart or mainly sell Target or mainly sell Amazon or Kmart. If you are used to certain suppliers, right? So because you know if most of the items you find from this guy come from Walmart, you could keep finding Walmart items. If you want to find some guy selling from Kmart and that type of stuff. This is also good for sellers that you don't find anything on. So with the raw sellers list, you want to pr basically prune or, or, or audit your sellers list. So let's say you have the raw one and you can just click a lot of these and run it, right? And run the seller. That's fine, but you want to optimize your actions. So what you can do is organize the sellers. And let me show you what I mean. So let's say, okay, let's say we run classic 365, right? Classic 365, we run them. I ran them before, but I'm still going to run them again. Um, for do, do, do. So what the SG is doing is plummeting through classic 365 listings to find all his items that sold at least four times. Those of you guys who've been watching my video should know what it's doing. So it's running, running, running. La -da -da. I know this is a boring video, but guys, especially you guys who requested it, please look at the whole video so you can understand what the fuck all this is about. Come on, baby. But while it's running, let me just show you how you audit him, right? So you want to go to eBay. And find classic 365. Use I'm just doing it like this because it's still running. But and actually no, I'll just do it from the Ashini so I don't confuse you guys. Sorry. So just give it a second. And you guys don't fast forward. You should just wait because I have to fucking wait. So let's wait together. I could sing for you or something. There's an error, Jesus. This error happens sometimes. Anyway, let me see what it's saying. I'll message Quasi's error, but I know that it pulls some stuff. So let me go to my research. So I'm 19 from Classics. Wow. Right? So I have all these lessons from Classics 365. Hit edit. 
Because a lot of times, some, not a lot of times, but sometimes these guys are not drop shippers, right? But I'll get to that. I just want to show you how to use it and use the tags. Right, so you found the item, it's a Walmart item, you say it's, it's profitable, right? Right, so what I want to do now, I could go to the sellers list, my sellers. And this is how to use the tags, all right? Find classic 365. Well, classic. Find that motherfucker. What this says is, let me see something. Listing count. So that means how many listings you have in your eBay that you took from this seller. So I have 14 listings from Classic 365 in this account that I took from him, right? So I selected him, and let's say I want to tag him as Walmart. That means he sell mainly from Walmart. This is just my observation. So I hit tag. Tag selected. Now, when I come up here, under tags, and I choose Walmart, filter by tag, only the guys that I add to that tag works, shows up. And now I can choose him and hit run selected, right? So, what you want to do is build your sellers list. Every time you find a seller that's not a drop shipper, add him to a tag as not a drop shipper and save it. And when you find a seller that is a drop shipper, add him to a tag that is that let's say drop shipper. So let me show you, let me show you what I mean. Because each seller could have multiple tags. It's not just one tag. So let's just say. Come on, baby. I'm trying to show you my shitty internet. I've been running around planning grind camp, and that's why I haven't fucking. Um. So let's say I choose all these guys, right? Tag selected, um, drop shippers. So I tag selected, okay? So these guys are tagged. Then I come back and choose, let's say I three, choose three. not drop shippers and tag those and I'm just saying not drop shippers what I would have done is let's say I try to snipe him and then I realize he has a lot of cheap shit and he's not a drop shipper or whatever right so now when I come here and hit filter I filter drop shippers and then all the ones that I said were drop shippers, only those show up. And then if I go to not drop shippers, I could filter that also. Not drop shippers. You see what I'm saying? So the tags are just to organize your, your seller's list. I know it takes some time doing research on each seller and tagging them or whatever. But as you're doing your daily business, where if you run a seller, check it, and he's not selling anything, just put fucking um not a drop shipper right it would take some time to organize the entire sellers list but once you organize it it just it just fucking optimizes your activity you want kmart shit make a list of kmart sellers you find you sell the same thing as a lot of other dhd members all walmart look for stuff with academy and then tag the sellers so guys, hopefully you understand how to use this properly. I sincerely apologize. I didn't make this video before. Love you, Traveling World. Make that money. Subscribe. Trying to get to 3,000. And in the description, there's a lot of cool shit. Free training, free mastermind group, all that good stuff. Have a good one, guys. Later. Later. Later.